Hello everyone, welcome to GGN. Today is Monday, October 15th, 2012. I'm Darko. I hope all of you had a great weekend and I'm ready to go here. I'm going to cover the Middle East, Syria, and Iran and some other places too. Uh, Turkey redirects European missile defense system to Syria from October 12th, 2012. So Turkey redirected the European missile defense system uh, based near the city of Malatya to Syria to monitor the situation in the country, the newspaper Saba newspaper reported. This will allow Turkey to control offensive and defensive actions of the Syrian government troops and missile launches. Turkey is proceeding to deliver military equipment to the border with Syria after a Turkish parliament made a decision enabling transboundary operations against Syria, i.e. they can go in and carry out military operations inside Syria. Um, also, this move as far as redirecting the European missile defense system to Syria was based off um, these, uh, quote, shells from Syrian territory killed five Turkish citizens. In other words, the um, same terrorists that the Turkish government was found caught arming. Um, so, you know, based off kind of a um, false premise. And Turkey does it again, another uh, act of terrorism with a second skyjacking. Turkey allows plane to leave after finding humanitarian aid. Turkey has allowed an Iranian plane bound for Syria to continue its journey following a search of its cargo, which confirmed it was carrying humanitarian aid, as stated by Armenia. And on the brink, Turkey tanks and warships on yellow alert over Syria threat from October 15th. War edged closer last night as Turkey lined up warships and tanks against neighboring Syria. The Turkish forces were on yellow alert one step away from military engagement as naval destroyers moved in to protect the Mediterranean coast and brigade of tanks rolled up to the 560-mile Syrian border. So it says here that the desperate military escalation came as the Turkish government warned it will smash Assad's forces if they dared to bombard towns north of their boundary again, again, all based off false premises. So, Also, over the weekend, you had um, uh, Turkey's Erdogan basically bashing the UN. They said that the UN stood reeling from the Turkish prime minister's accusations of inaction against Syria's shelling. So if there are more um, cross-border shelling exchanges of gunfire, uh, NATO and Britain could be sucked into the conflict against Syria. Sucked into I, it, it sounds makes them sound so innocent, right? Like innocent bystanders, uh, backed by Iran, Russia, and Hezbollah in neighboring Lebanon. The people that you know are living in Syria that uh, are not really pro-Assad or against them, they just want to be left alone and have to leave their country, i.e., refugees and that. Those are the ones that are getting sucked into it, right? But like I mentioned before, they're just used as pawns. You know, they could be killed. And they're uh, you know expendable. So it says here tensions were, as long as they can get the regime change and, 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 and uh, have the body counts sensationalized and stuff like that and say, ooh, you know, humanitarian crisis going on over here in Turkey. Got to end the bloodshed. Many locals have fled fearing civil war will breach the, uh, what is this, Akkale border as Assad turns his troops on Turkish regions sympathetic to the rebels fighting him. So it says here we will be swallowed up by war if nobody helps. So, of course, what? Just like the United States with Libya and uh, what's going on now, uh, the public support is low for what they're doing. So nobody, n none of the people actually support this, which just goes to show you, again, that you live in a dictatorship and you don't really live in a, in a democracy, right? So public support low for possible fight against Syria from October 11th. The chances of war between Turkey and Syria appear to be rising, but the heated rhetoric of these prime minister and the government of Syria does not seem to be matched by public enthusiasm for the conflict. The latest opinion poll conducted September 14th and the 19th by Metropole uh, says here that 76% of the 3,000 respondents oppose going to war with Syria. And Turkey is the biggest loser in the self-devastating Syria game, says political analyst. Says now Turkey knows that it's the biggest loser because it is receiving the majority of the refugees that are coming out of Syria. According to the analyst, Turkey's unpopular foreign policy and relation to Syria as well as the Kurdish problem are contributing to the losses of Ankara. Said Turkey's attitude towards Syria is only working out for the Western military alliance and NATO in the long run and asked the question who benefits from this. All the benefit goes to NATO and its Persian Gulf allies. It also stated that Ankara's main interest in stabbing its own neighbor in the back and aligning itself with Western positions is to gain entrance to the European Union, which he says will never be allowed. Uh, but also that the West is playing a very clever game in relation to Turkey and devastating it for potentially rising in the future. As if we didn't already know this, Western spies get discreetly involved in Syria. 
Western intelligence agencies are quietly at work supporting the Syrian opposition from Turkey. And while governments officially deny involvement, media reports paints a clearer picture. It's been clear for some time that CIA agents in Turkey have been monitoring weapons transfers to the Syrian rebels. Experts said they suspect the British intelligence service is also involved observing the situation in Syria from Cyprus. I've covered that before and passing on strategically important information to rebels. The intelligence agencies that brought about the fall of the Gaddafi regime in Libya are now at work in Syria, says uh, this Eric Schmidt of the head of Peace Policy Research Institute. So this David Pollack, head of Washington Institute for Near East Policy, said he shares that general view but added that the CIA activity was very limited. American media reported that the CIA had limited itself to observing arms transfers, I love that, observing, right, um, and watching that religious extremists don't get their hands on missiles and explosives. Arms are mainly being financed by Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. The West supports moderate powers in Syria. It says while Qatar, on the other hand, supports fundamentalist groups. Also, they've considered, I love that, for <laughs> considered, provided kind of like chemtrails, providing rebels in Syria with satellite images of Syrian troop movements and supporting them and creating an intelligence agency. Of their own. We already know this is happening because they're, they're doing it as individuals, U.S. agents in Canada, using social networking sites to send messages, personal text messages to the terrorists and the mercenaries and Muslim extremists in Syria. Uh, to give them locations and stuff like that. These are citizens, supposedly, right? Along with uh, private citizens giving a bunch of money, like a rich guy, I think it was in Canada, giving up money. Um, so it says here that uh, however, however it may be, U.S. President Obama has ordered the CIA to give rebels logistical assistance and the U.S. has made public. It supports about $15 million for communications equipment. And remember that box, that crate that was uh, found from Saudi Arabia in Syria. It was communications equipment. Syrian jihadists seized Aleppo air base and loot missiles. That's the second air defense base seized this month. Says that they claim that the surface-to-air missiles at the base were being used against rebel forces. An odd claim since the rebels don't have any air forces. Also recently there was a, a Syrian jet that was supposedly downed by the rebels. So who knows if they used this. And the rebel video was praising al-Nusra for his involvement in the attack. They are also accused of t having ties with al-Qaeda and primary claim to fame has been attacking media outlets nationwide, killing journalists and media workers accused of being pro-regime. And remember in uh, Libya also, one of the main things that happened that helped the um, uh, basically the foreign-backed uh, insurgents in Libya to uh, invoke regime change was what? Was the military bases with all the weapon caches. Once they got that, then all hell broke loose, and it, then you can tell what was going to happen there when all the different uh, towns and cities started to uh, fall apart. Then arms shipments to Syria aid jihadists. This is actually from the New York Times, but carried by antiwar.com. Is foreign aid turning Syria's rebellion into terrorists? Well, I think that's how they kind of started, right? So, you know, it wasn't just a peaceful, uh, it started as a peaceful, uh, legitimate Arab grievances, but then it turned violent, and that was from the terrorists that were there right from the beginning. Syria's rebellion has long been split across a very visible line between secular military defectors and Sunni Islamists, hoping to oust the current uh, regime and turn the nation into a theocracy. And while Western statements tend to emphasize the former, it is the latter that is getting most of the weaponry. Also, Western-backed rebels move against Syria's Christian minority. Churches and homs are under constant attack, lost in the focus on the larger battle for Syria and the regime change. Uh, it says here that the Sunni majority rebels turn not only to the Alawite-dominated government, but in growing instances on all religious minorities, including Syria's ancient Christian community. It's one of the oldest Christian communities, 2,000-year-old tradition followed by an estimated 10% of the nation's population which is under attack by jihadist rebel factions that soon may go the way of Iraqi Christians who during the U.S. occupation were chased out of the nation in mass. UN Peace Envoy draws up plan for 3,000 strong peacekeeping force in Syria, which they later deny. The new Peace Envoy to Syria is drawing up plans for a 3,000 strong peacekeeping force that could involve European troops in policing a future truce. Goes on and says, given the volatility of the conflict and growing presence of Islamists on the rebel side, it is thought that the British and American forces would be unlikely to take part because of their past involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan. Instead, Mr. Brahimi, he says here, a veteran Algerian diplomat who took over the joint United Nations and Arab League peace envoy last month, says that what? They're going to look for UNIFIL and these troops 
include Ireland, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. So they're going to give it to some other countries so that they, uh, all their people can be hated, just like Americans who have no power over what's going on. Confirmed Pentagon deploys military forces to Jordan-Syria border. So I'm not sure if this is what he's talking about, but this is the United States troops who send a bunch of uh, agents and stuff like that for humanitarian needs, which is after, what, the 12,000 troop exercise Eager Lion of May this year uh, in, the, in Jordan, which is basically on Syria's border. You have Britain deploying troops to Jordan as mission creep possibility rises. The UK has de uh, deployed its personnel to the Kingdom of Jordan, where U.S. Special Forces have been preparing the ground for a military onslaught against neighboring Syria under the disguise of training the Jordanian forces. And here's the big one over the weekend, right guys? Uh, I covered a bunch of eugenics videos on Friday, so the last time I covered the Mideast was, I think, last Thursday. So this is what's transpired, this uh, BS propaganda, right, that they put out there. They always got to do this, man. Like Iraq with uh, taking babies out of incubators, and they tried the same thing with Syria uh, in the beginning of all this mess. Syria denies using cluster munitions. Now, we know that they were used by what? By NATO, France, dropping them on Lib Libyan civilians when they were trying to get that regime changed. There was actually footage of it scaring the li holy daylights out of uh, Libyan citizens out of their apartments. But either way, the Syrian army has denied reports accusing it of using cluster munitions, saying it does not possess such weapons. Some news outlets that are complicit in the bloodletting in Syria have been publishing false reports that the Syrian army has been using cluster bombs against armed terrorists. It says the army further denied the accusations as saying that the reports are baseless and part of a disinformation campaign. How many civilians were killed by cluster bombs in Iraq? Well, Pentagon says one. The Iraq body count says at least 200. Yeah, so they tried to uh, lie about it and distorting uh, reality by saying, what, that there was only one death because, well, it wasn't from a plane, it was from a surface launch cluster of munitions, which are believed to have caused many more civilian casualties. Also, you have this, right? Our bombs turned Iraq into a toxic wasteland. So what was our military thinking when it lobbed bombs and shells tipped with depleted uranium into the heart of Iraq? The once beautiful country, the Golden Crescent, place where the human race was said to have its origins, have been turned into a toxic wasteland unfit for human habitation. Yet the Iraqi people still live there. And odds are that we've been plastering Afghanistan and possibly even the Balkans with these bombs filled with depleted uraniums. Recent story um, showed that cancer and birth defects have been spreading like influenza across Iraq ever since the bombing of the country in 1991. Iraq records huge rise in birth defects. This is from October 15, 2012. A new study at the University of Michigan shows a staggering rise in birth defects among Iraqi children conceived in the aftermath of the U.S.-led war in Iraq. Again, that was a regime change. High rates of miscarriage, toxic levels of lead and mercury contamination, and the spiraling numbers of birth defects ranging from congenital heart defects to brain dysfunctions, malformed limbs have been recorded. Even more disturbingly, they appear to be occurring at an increasing rate in children born in Fallujah, about 40 miles west of Baghdad. American forces later admitted they used white phosphorus shells, although they never admitted to using depleted uranium, which has been linked to high rates of cancer and birth defects. And the European Union bans broadcasts of Iranian TV channels on Hotbird, so this is kind of interesting. European satellite provider, um, I guess it's UTELSAT, EU Telecommunication Satellite, says it has stopped the broadcast of several Iranian satellite channels following an order by the European Commission. The decision follows months of jamming of Iranian channels by European satellite companies. Observers believe that the EU does not respect freedom of speech and spares no efforts to silence the voice of alternative media outlets. Technical experts say the jamming was carried out by British technicians, i.e. from Zionist companies and Iranian news channels affected by the decision only aim to break the West's monopoly on news broadcasts by reflecting the voice of the oppressed people to the world. So, yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, I, recently, they had the Press TV CEO um, basically talking about what was going on with the censoring of Press TV by uh, he, what he said was Zion. Someone left a comment, well, the European Union received the Nobel Peace Prize from the Zionists, and Zionists received a gift from the EU. Former Soviet dissident warns for EU dictatorship. Warns the 63-year-old former Soviet dissident fears that the European Union is on its way to becoming another Soviet Union, calling the EU a monster that must be destroyed the sooner the better before it defe uh, develops into a full-fledged totalitarian state. We all know that they were awarded the Nobel Prize, right? But the EU is not a person, so granting the Nobel Prize to the EU is a violation of Alfred Nobel's will. 
please join me in part two. This is GGN. Thank you.